Please be seated. Once again, good morning. Good morning. In today's gospel, three points that I want to share with you. First is miracles do happen. Maybe it is in the sharing of the loaves that the people did not spot the miracle happening of the multiplication of loaves to feed every person present during that time. In our lives, there are occasions that we do not grasp straight ahead that, that the experiences indeed were one of God's untold marvels. Sahay, there are times in our lives nga dili na to makuha da yung diritsyo nga kana da yung mga panghitabo o sa na sa mga milagro sa ginoo. How often do we come across a scenario that left us in wonder of God's hands at work in our lives? Daghan na nga mga um, scenario sa atong kinabuhi wherein nga uh, makaingon gita nga kanang kini nga pangitabo matawag nato nga blessing in disguise where there were people time places or instances that God used to bring this miracle into our daily struggles but we also have to recognize those apparent miracles that not only inspire people but also made their faith stronger and changed their lives Daghan nga mga gitawag nato nga mga blessing blessings in disguise nga dili lang nga naghatag kanato og kanang amazement sa atong kinabuhi but it also made you know made um, the faith of somebody stronger the the very best example of that is what we did here sa atong simbahan our uh, healing and deliverance ministry particularly particularly exorcism ako mismo murag sukad ato nga experience murag ni boost diretso nga akong pagtuo nga uy wala na koy panahon nga magduha-duha pa kung tinuod ba ang Ginoo kay tinuod gyud siya tinuod gyud siya wala na wala na mana nga makaingon ko nga it's really a blessing it's a blessing in these guys because it it's not just tungod kay na amazed ka sa gahom sa Ginoo but but it also made your faith stronger you know, in God. And miracles do happen. Likewise, they don't only transpire to people who profess their faith as these numerous wonders are for everyone. Ug ang mga milagro, tinood yun na, dili lang na gakahitabo para sa mga tao nga na ay mga dagko nga pagtuo. Kung dili, ang mga milagro para na sa katanan for those who believe especially ikaduha nga punto anyone can be your miracle the boy and the other people who shared their food are miracles to those who have nothing to eat at that time if you listen to the gospel nakakaon silang tanan tungod sa usa lang kabata nga nagdala og lima ka pan og tulo ka isda that boy became a blessing to them. That boy became a miracle to them. You know, for our part, daghan na tag mga, daghan tag mga story sa atong kinabuhi wherein na ay mga tao, either family members, mga amigo, mga kaila, or even mga tao nga wat ni mo mailisukad, nga nahimong panalangin, nahimong miracle sa imong kinabuhi. They became God's face for us to encounter. Nahimo silang imahe sa ginoo nga atong na-encounter physically and personally. Indeed, God created us in His image. And the manifestations of these partly fulfill our purpose to be His instruments in spreading His infinite love and mercy. Mauna nga, do not underestimate yourself. You can be somebody's blessing or miracle. You can be somebody's answered prayer. Ayaw gina 
underestimate imong kaugalingon because we all of us are created in the image of God. We are his living vessels for his glory and honor. Og ang ikatulo, we can be someone's miracle. Sharing loaves to the hungry may sound cliche for others, but for the starved, it's a miracle. During that time, ang ilahang pagbahin-bahin sa maong pan ng isda, murag, something murag normal rato ah. But, siguro kung naay mga tao nga gipanggutom ato nga time, dako na kayo nga panalangin. Sharing loaves doesn't limit to it literally. So how do we apply that sa atong kinabuhi? Part of our time to listen to others who are who are in despair, who need comfort, is we are like sharing our loaves to them. Okay? If you have a friend na kay kaila nga nga nagkinahanglan sa imong panahon or even nagkinahanglan sa imong attention, dako na kay nga blessing sa ilaha. That is why a sim- ang simple nga pagpangumusta um follow up it's a big blessing making children laugh and teach them to be grateful for daily miracles and blessings is also sharing our loaves being kind to the people being kind to others is also sharing our loaves more so forgiving ourselves from our past mistakes and sins is we also share the living bread of God sa atong kinabuhi. That's why we can be someone's miracle. You and me is somebody's answered prayer. You and me is somebody's blessing. All we have to do is magpagamit lang kita sa gino. Are we ready to be used by God? Okay, imagine, there, in the gospel, 5,000 people, kung wala tong bata na nagdala sa iyang pan o isda, do you think, number one, makakaon sila, tungod kay gutom na kasi lahat nga time, o ikaduha, kung wala ang obedience sa maong bata, kung nagdumili sa paghatag ato, do you think that the people will see the power of God work Diya sa imismo sa ilang atubangan. I don't think so. If we want to see the hand of God work in our lives, each one of us must be obedient to God. Andam tamaminaw. If you want to be somebody's blessing and miracle sa ilang kinabuhi, allow yourself to be used by God mightily. Amen, Batana. Please stand.